welcome back to my YouTube channel. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Did you have coffee? coffee? Yeah. <laughs> you guys have really enjoyed these hair removal videos for some reason, so we're back at it with another relevant topic. Which is the better razor? A men's razor or a women's razor? Today, Olivia and I are gonna take the top three grocery store brands and compare their most popular men's razor and their most popular women's razor. And as a fourth bonus category, we are going to compare a men's and women's vintage safety razor from the 40s. We're gonna compare our results under a microscope to see which is actually the better shape. I use a men's razor. Same. The Gillette Mach 3. Which one do you use? Well, now I use Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> you use Dollar Shave Club? Personally, I've always used it because I found like when I use a Venus or like anything, the padding that exists on the exterior of the blade prevented me from getting a close enough shave. Right. Whereas with the men's razor, I felt like I would get a closer shave. Now, whether or not that's actually true, I would like to find out today. Yeah. So I actually went to the Barbershop Club LA to meet with Woody Lavelle to learn all about the history of men's and women's razors. Hi, I'm Woody Lavelle, owner of the Barbershop Club. We got about 30 years here in Los Angeles catering to pretty much the elite clientele. Today, Woody, I've been thinking a lot about the pink tax and how women's products and men's products are marketed completely differently to do the same task. So I'm trying to debunk all of that. In my experience, there is a big difference in men's and women's razors. I'd like to know a bit more about how they are different between genders. Basically, you know, they're not. The only really difference is in the actual handle itself. I'm here to tell you that all of those razors are being made in the same place. It's not less sharp. I'm surprised to hear that they could potentially be the same blade because I feel like they're different. And part of our experiment this week is to find out, are they actually different? I pulled out a couple things just to kind of show you a little bit of the history, old school and new school. And you'll find like these beautiful cases right here are actual travel kits with female razors in them, oh, right? Okay. This is so, so cute. Oh my goodness. This is a cutthroat razor. So this is the razor that everyone was using before Gillette came out with the butterfly razor, right? Which is this, and we call it butterfly because you can open it up. And oh, that's cute. And it kind of looks like a <laughs> butterfly, right? Okay. The razor has been around for a while. If anyone's heard of the name Gillette, is the one that pretty much made the safety razor popular. Mr. Gillette came out with this because in World War One and Two, men needed to stay clean shaven. They needed to be able to do it quickly. You can't do a cutthroat shave very quickly and safely, so they came out with this razor for them. With this, you have to take your time because you're dealing with a sharper razor. So it's really just slowing down the process and enjoying the task a little bit more. So it's a little more dangerous. It's definitely a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> Let's get I to quit! <laughs> <laughs> to the razors! Wait, 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 we forgot again. <laughs> it's time to divide, divide the leg. leg. First up, men's Gillette versus women's Gillette. The first razor is the Gillette Mach 5 Fusion, and I chose this because it's kind of like the mid-range Gillette for men. How many, so, so this has five? So this is five blades, and I only learned about the significance of that from Woody. Vintage razors, like these, only have one blade. Why is it that more commercial ones have like three or five blades? It is purely a gimmick. How can they make money? What they do is they just put a less quality blade in there and give you four of them. Two swipes in and I already know this isn't like that close of a shave. Really? Yeah. What does it feel like? What are you feeling? I mean, it feels fine. There's not really any pull, but I'm not feeling like a ton of direct contact with my skin. Aesthetically, it looks cool. I mean, it looks like some sort of robot Terminator. I think my thought also in choosing to use a men's razor in my personal life was that if there's a razor that can cut so close to the skin and get around places as fragile as your chin and face, then it should be able to do my leg and knee. Yeah, that's fine. the thing is that I know people will argue that women's razors and men's razors are designed to do different things, but a razor should be able to cut your hair no matter where yeah. it is. I don't really feel anything. Right? It feels pretty good. I actually like it. Now time for our comparison, which is the standard Venus Gillette. Everyone knows about Venus. I feel like, oh, I'm your Venus. power, I'm your fire, your desire. It's interesting like 
how different the ads are. Yeah. So this we chose because it also has five blades, so it's the closest comparison we can do to the Gillette Mach 5. However, it does have the lotion strip around the edge. When you use a female razor, is there a little strip on there that like spits out a little gel or cream or something yeah. like that? There's a substance in there that causes numbing, believe it or not, and that is what actually allows you to keep going even after you cut yourself. That just kind of seals it up and heals it and you're able to just kind of rush through it. Oh, ow, I just cut myself. No! Nick count one. It feels like I have like a snow sled gliding over my leg. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> like, I don't know, like it's just this big thing. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely feel more pull. They probably put the guard and it's not as close of a shave, so women feel like they have to shave more often. I felt more pull on this. I don't know if that means it's closer or not, but this felt smoother. Next, men's versus women's chic. I feel like we're swearing. Oh, sh <laughs> First up, we have this chic men's razor with five blades. I haven't nicked myself, but I feel like I'm going to. Oh, I don't like that feeling. The experience feels risky. Oh my god, yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. I just, I feel like it's imminent. Okay, let's do the women's one. There's like these holes, and then they seem to have some sort of product in it, like a powder product. Maybe that's the numbing stuff. That's weird. And then there's like a rubber guard, but there's no lotion around the end. All right, outside. let's try it out. Yep, this is awful. Really? Yep, it feels, oh my god, almost worse than the other one. Oh my god, instantly. Instantly. I heard it. I yeah. heard it hit your hairs. Yeah, it doesn't feel close at all. You can see the base of the hairs are still there. Now, obviously, because it's a razor, it's not gonna cut underneath the skin. But like, but look there at is this a little compared to this. Third, men's versus women's bic. Ooh. Why do I use bic? <laughs> Someone remind me. I don't know. I know we're not commenting too much on aesthetics here, but this just looks really bad. It looks like a grandpa razor. It looks like some sort of air vent is on the bottom of it. You know what Ew. I mean? All sorts of bacteria and nasties can get all up in there and stay there. Ew. The top of this is more rubber than it is razor. Yeah. It's not worse than the Chic, but it kind of feels like not great. It also feels like I'm going to cut myself. But it also feels like I just took like a piece of plastic and just rubbed it against my leg. Oh. It feels very hard. Right? Like it has a rotating head, but I don't feel it moving at all, really. There's no flexibility. Ba barely moving. I'm also seeing the same issue we did with the last razor where you can still like see bumps. So here's the women's one, which does not have a rotating head, which kind of wakes no, me up. No, these are completely bit. hard and they are not removable heads. These are just disposable. You throw the whole thing out. Yeah. Again, they look exactly the same. They are exactly the same. same. It's well, definitely worse than the Like we are on the edge. I definitely just like nicked my shin. Nick count two. This also feels like the credit hard. card, but like worse. Oh my God, I did two. Oh Nick my, count whoa. three. Yeah, this feels terrible. I can't believe I used to use these. And lastly, the vintage men's and women's safety razor blades. I'm really scared. What is safe about, pull them out. Go okay, get them. okay, okay, here we go. Let's show the people how freaking scary these are. This is from the 1940s and it is a men's razor. This is a women's razor modeled off the vintage, but it's from like the 2000s. Believe it or not, they are manufactured today. The old fashioned safety razor has been making a comeback and has become very popular with the younger generation for a couple reasons. One is it makes more sense financially because it's cheaper when you can buy a box of razors for 20 bucks for 100 razors versus spending $30 for a cartridge that you have to go into a Rite Aid or something and ask for assistance to get it out of a cabinet that's locked up. Sometimes it's louder alarms too and everybody's looking at you. What, what are you doing? What'd you do? Those blades aren't recyclable and it's very, very expensive. When you get done with that, you pretty much throw it in the trash and it goes into a landfill. So you're getting a better shave, better for the environment and you're gonna enjoy the experience way more. This is the men's razor, and I think this is fascinating to see a women's razor take up more space than a men's, because it's usually not that way. Right. And this is because, like back in the day, you know, you're using it on your face, mm -hmm. I mean, you can be shorter, but when you have a leg, you need better reach, so these are longer. So, they actually open up like this. Ah! Okay, Transformers. What's fascinating is that the women's and men's razors are the same. You. I don't do you understand no. how to do this? I don't want to cut myself. Wait, oh yeah. 
The engineering in this is fascinating. Like the fact that you turn this little thing and it opens this butterfly. I don't understand how that works, but it's really cool. Oh, oh I definitely bent mine. So cute. It's a little envelope. It's a little envelope. And the award goes to me. Oh, this is scary. Scary, scary, Richard, scary. Who's Richard? The busy world of Richard Scary. Whoa. Because we're dealing with like the same blade, pretty much, what makes a difference is that for men, when you get your face shaved, they use a badger brush to lift the hair off the skin. So we're gonna do that on our legs. Yeah, whoa! You can see your hair sticking Wait. up through that. Can you see that? I'm shooketh. Mom, I love you. Oh my God, do And my dad. Be too. careful, they're very sharp. Do you feel it? Oh my God, oh my God, how's it going? Are you okay? Do you feel it? Is it working? I don't feel anything. It's working! Is Look. it? I don't feel anything. Am I doing this right? Yeah, you don't have hair here. Okay, there, I can feel the blade, but like not in a scary way. <gasps> okay, <gasps> maybe I just cut myself, but no. I cannot tell. Maybe if I got used to using something like this, I could, but I don't think I would be able to like jump in the shower real quick and be like, shoop, shoop, shoop. Yeah, be like, well, I would said you have to take your time with this because it's very dangerous. Badger me up, babe. All right. Ew, you're bleeding a lot. Oh my God. Okay, well, whatever. Oh my God, it feels really cool. I like it. This is just this like right? How's my technique, people who are shave aficionados? Wow, I feel so taken care of. You can't see the angle, and it doesn't have a rotating head, so it kind of freaks me out. I guess just follow the curve. It's like ASMR. No hair, that's pretty close. It's way less scary than I thought it would be. Yeah, once you like figure it out, but again, you still wouldn't want to like rush it. Uh-uh. I cut myself. You did? Nick count four. I nicked myself as well. Five, Nick count five. Six, there's another one below it. It feels real good though. Yeah. Wow. It does too. Okay, so this is very heavy. Even yeah. more heavy than the guys. Because it's longer too. Yeah. How does it feel compared to the men's? Um, pretty much the same. Does the longer handle make that much of a difference? Yes, it does. Oh no. Yeah. Nick, Nick number seven. seven. I think the thing is, is that the way we're doing this is because like portions of our skin are covered in cream. If you get a part of your skin that's like dry, that's when you nick yourself. If you get the angle ever so slightly wrong, you're really gonna nick yourself. Yeah. The other razors, it's harder to do that. I'm still in general just scared. Yeah, we are both bleeding. <laughs> well, that's everything. We're gonna wait a week and see what the results are. And then we are going to bring our new razors to Woody and have him assess whether or not they are actually different between the men's and women's. We are back and we are ready to reveal the results. Today we're gonna get down to the microscopic level of who is the winner by using a microscope from Amazon and comparing the length of the different hairs in the different sections. I'm excited. I'm excited too. I feel like I'm pregnant and you're about to give me like a... It's Tinder greens. <laughs> So we're gonna start with the Gillette Mins. Oh my God, this is so bizarre. Ew, Ew. it looks like the surface of Mars or something. Oh, ew! Why are my hairs like, they look diseased. They're relatively short though, for two weeks. So now let's compare it to the women's leg. These hairs seem to be much bigger. Look at that. Like this is taking up the majority of the screen. This is Gillette Men's on Olivia. Look at how tiny my <laughs> They're like non-existent. So They're so Mine thin. Mine look like fucking tree trunks and you just look like grass blades. There's something really satisfying about just wanting to see things under a microscope. You can see like your veins. Let's see how the women's compares. It's like the same. It really is. And if you have to Weird. inspect it under a microscope to like really compare, <laughs> like at that point it doesn't matter. It's pretty much the same. But what I think is the difference for me isn't the length of the hair, which is debatable, honestly. Yeah. It's the way the hair grows back. 
For example, the Gillette men's leg, uh -huh. it looked way crazier than the women's leg on me. Okay, let's see if Shake has a bigger difference. Your hair growth on this section looks like denser. Whoa, Ew. what is that? Oh, you got skin cancer? Oh, it's like an itty bitty tiny cut. Let's move to the women's leg. Okay. Oh, there's another cut. They oh. both, they're literally kind of suck. so tiny IRL. Like, I don't even know. But that's really telling if you're having like microscopic cuts all over you. We didn't see any of that with Gillette. What I like that we are seeing under the microscope is the damage, you know? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I definitely don't want to get a Chic razor because they make you. Chic women, the hair seems to be growing back. Like, it looks nicer. Oh, no siree, Bob. Look at that, go to the bottom of the hair. It's a literal split end. You can see the split end. That is crazy. You just don't have much hair regrowth, but look at this squirrely one over here. <laughs> look squirrely. At squirrely. I still think the chic women's regrowth just looks nicer. So now we're in big, which I also remember to be not the greatest experience. Okay, I will say these hairs look fucking long. And they're going in like different directions. And now we're gonna look for the heartbeat. Over here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let's see if the women's is different. Whoa, that one's oh. long. Even on yours, I can see the hair, like it's long. Yeah. So in general, big, both men and women. Ain't that great. So for the traditional safety razor, we used a men's and a women's. The blade is exactly the same, but the differences are the women's had a bit more weight to it. However, in the men's, we used a badger brush, which is a traditional methodology for bringing the hair off of the skin for a men's beard. So that's what we're comparing. Less so the blade and more so the other things involved. This hair growth, they look straight and they look normal. Everywhere else looked like the hairs had been beaten to no. death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the women's is better? I think they're very comparable again. I kind of think the women's looks better than the men's. I agree with you, but like, it's just barely. It's honestly a toss up. However, I will say that the women's shaving experience was, was easier better. for us, yeah. You reached better and it was more weighted. Okay, let's see your legs. This is the men's straight razor. Yours look healthy too. Okay, let's see the women's. Honestly, I'm having a hard time finding hair on the women's leg at all. Yeah. I'm literally wow. going across your entire leg. There are barely any hairs, Olivia, look at this. There's one. Oh my God, I think the women's leg won. So we went into this experiment aiming to find out if women's razors are better or worse than men's razors. And I think what we learned is that it's the same. Pink tax occurs on a lot of women's products. Mm -hmm. Specifically for this experiment, the prices were about the same men to women within each brand. Yeah, and if one was more expensive, maybe one came with more, more cartridges. Car cartridges or something like that. So I guess our conclusion from this is that if you're at the store trying to decide if you should get a men's or a women's razor. I guess go with whichever is pick, cheaper. Pick your favorite color. Well, I think it's time to go to Woody and get the final say on these razors. The master Woody. We have completed the challenge. What you are seeing here are the brands and different gendered razors that we chose. And we have our results in. The best shave <laughs> by far was the safety razor. Really? Hands down. Wow. Easy, easy, wow. like noticeable within a few days. When it comes to what's available in a grocery store, I am here to find out from you, are these blades actually the same? The difference isn't in the blade itself. The actual blade is the same. Like you mentioned before, look at this huge bumper around the razors. Look at that, you can barely even see the blade versus that one, mm -hmm. right? This is a pretty wide bumper and the blades sit down in there. Right? So they're further away from the skin. Right, right, right. Causing you to actually feel good about pressing down. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not pressing down. I was this. very nervous to use yeah. these at yeah, first. Yeah, because it's heavy. It's almost like you're holding a knife. You yeah. <laughs> I never really looked at a woman's razor as close as I'm looking at it now. I'm really surprised with all the extra plastic around the blade. The reason why is probably because women are probably shaving so much faster. They want to protect you. Wider bottom handle, and that's purely just so you can have more to hold on to. And it's rubber, so I guess guys aren't necessarily shaving in the shower. Everything is wet. 
So this has to be able to, to stay in your hand. Mm. So, but that's the only difference. What's up guys, before we go, I wanna give a huge shout out to the partner of this video, Dollar Shave Club. So if you guys have been keeping up with our whole shaving hair removal series, you know, in the last episode, Olivia and I experimented trying all of the top subscription shaving services. And we voted Dollar Shave Club to be our favorite, best experience, and by far, the best shave you can get in a box. After that video came out, Dollar Shave Club actually emailed me, offering me a discount code for all of you guys. I'm just really excited to have been reached out to by a brand that I already believed in before they wanted to sponsor a video with me. Before we go any further, I just want to say the disclaimer that Dollar Shave Club had no say in any of our opinions today. They were also excluded from our competition today because they are gender neutral. They don't have a men's and a women's razor, they just have one. And I also think that's just a cool thing in general. And if you missed our past video where we outlined all of the products in all of the subscription boxes, here are some of my favorite things about Dollar Shave Club. First of all, their products are super awesome and high quality. The Shave Starter Kit comes with the executive razor in a three ounce tube of shave butter. The oral starter kit has this really nice, like super heavy toothbrush and a trial size version of the toothpaste. And lastly, the shower starter kit has three trial size versions of the body cleanser, face cleanser, and shampoo. Personally, I really like the shave butter because it has this nice texture to help you get a really smooth shave. And I prefer it over the shower gel I was using before. If you wanna join the club, a starter set is just $5 via the link in my description. After that, the restock box ships regular size products at a regular price. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking around for this branded segment. I am so thankful to all of the partners on this channel so we can keep on making awesome videos like this for you guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. The cover of the book is different, but the contents are the same. You're just hiding your Fifty Shades of Grey book with a different cover. One time I was on a plane and the woman next to me fell asleep and she was reading Fifty Shades of Grey and then I started reading it and then she woke up and found me. And she was like, it's good, right? And I was like, <laughs> how old were you? It was good. <laughs>